Hey there guys and welcome to the new LP! Remember what I said at the end of Mortal Kombat where I said I'd do a game? A Nintendo game made by... which is like one of the last games that developer made for Nintendo? Well, this is Star Fox Adventures and it's like the last game Rare made for Nintendo before Microsoft bought them and made them make crappy Kinect games one after the other. Now, you might be wondering, wait, Star Fox Adventures? Uh, where the hell is Star Fox? What does this have to do with Star Fox? What does a blue fox girl riding a pterodactyl have to do with forest critters flying jets and shooting up spaceships. Well, let me tell you, this game was not originally meant to be a Star Fox game. It was actually meant to be like a whole new series altogether on Nintendo 64. But apparently development wasn't really going so well and Rare was all like, or I think Nintendo, what I can, uh, you know what, uh, let's just change the characters a bit and turn it into the next Star Fox game and launch it as a launch title for GameCube. And so they did. And I must say, well this is kind of reminiscent of Star Fox, you know, even though you're flying a pterodactyl instead of a jet, you still fly around and shoot stuff. In this case, the uh, propeller of that airship. And now it's burning. And then you shoot those two dinosaur heads there for some reason. To make them burn while they're shooting fireballs at you. And don't worry, you can't die in this part. You have unlimited health. And then the ship flies away, turns around and... Oh crap, it's heading right for us. Yeah. Pterodactyl that shoots blue fireballs. I've seen everything. And a ship's head that roars. Isn't it supposed to be a machine? Or is that actually a live dinosaur head mounted on the front of the ship? Uh, that's a gruesome prospect. Anyways, let's explore this thing, see what there is to do on the ship. <laughs> And no, before you ask me, that is not an actual language, it's just gibberish. Don't worry, the game will shift to English soon enough. I don't know why the hell they went with this whole gibberish thing to begin with. Because it's kind of annoying, but whatever floats their boat, I guess. It's pretty much the setup for a joke. Like in one of the future parts, but that's pretty much it. Don't worry, you won't be hearing it much longer. Just this one video and then, like, sporadically sometimes. You were able to talk to me, yeah, yeah, tutorial. It's a little baby pterodactyl in a cage and he opens a door somehow. Uh, but yeah. Even though this is a Star Fox game, many people, like, criticized it for not being enough like a Star Fox game. And, to be quite honest, I must kind of agree with them. It's not so much a Star Fox game. I mean, remember when I did Star Fox 64, which was just flying around in a spaceship or driving around in a tank? Yeah, this game still has the spaceship part, but only very little. It's more like a Zelda game, to be quite honest. So yeah, the first Zelda game on my channel is this. General Scales, Hiku, Kohud, or Taskuki, if dinosaur planet. Ud Neokraju, Ui Kimo Nekt. I'm dead, Kutsuho Kevorik Oi. I'm Edko Kutsuho Rosvejo Ivu Tashkov Zuk. Ha 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 ha. Ud Zuk? Ki ash Niko Kuduk, ash at Tashkov. Kill Cloud on a kekt mo yorik oi. Kill Ola, General. <laughs> Moak. A umdek ulak. A hiko ilo kio mudu tadishwi kiao. Kiok. 
Aj mio amir hiko kutsaj kudok nakivu. Iki anajo. Kio vik ok nuj to keva wik a walk mo. Uwe tu oki se kod wo mo. Kia chaj dek elu. Edu su tavuk. General scales. Proces, General! Moro do Kemo! Kia chaj dek elu! Hojvat keo yezo ev keo tashkov zhaduk! Anito av keaj aj neo keo tashkov zhaduk aj semat vem! Kia gets keo krozoa palace! Avu we! We are jato! Rolo ho suvi! Okay, so we're on <coughs> Dinosaur Planet. There's an evil ruler named General Scales. And now we've been dropped off at Krozoa Palace where we must do something that I'm not completely sure of what it is. A fuel barrel generator. Which generates fuel barrels. And what is this? The King Earthwalker sent us to protect... Krozoa Palace, it's not safe for you here. If you find yourself in danger, press X to roll out of the way. Yeah, we don't have any means of defending ourselves. We had a staff, but we uh, lost that flying on the pterodactyl. So that sucks. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything about those crates, and they're blocking where we need to go. Oh yeah, when the C is displayed, you can use a C stick to do some inventory stuff. Which is actually kind of... I'm not really a big fan of the inventory system in this game, it's kind of wacky. Okay, this is a fuel barrel. Go it over here, throw it in the crates, they blow up, and you can go on. And a new one will spawn here, because that's what it does, it generates fuel... Crap, did I just throw the fuel barrel? What do I... Yeah, they also have a Zelda-like pickup animation. These are Puck Puck eggs. They came from the huge puck puck birds with the sharp claw breed for this tasty snack. These are your health restore thingies. Yeah, and they have some weird energy jellyfish thing flying around. They're not really that much of a threat, so don't really worry about them too much. They're slow, they can hardly do anything to you. Bust open that wall there, and then you're good to go. Although I do think that the dinosaurs won't be too happy with me blowing holes in their most sacred... What is this? Another fuel generator? Okay. So, where's the fuel barrel then? Because it'll only generate one if it's already... Oh, here it is, behind that triceratops. Crap. Yeah, the explosion manages to get me, but it doesn't destroy any of the crates. Whatever. Anyways, if there's any furries watching this... Uh, yeah, this part of the game stars a furry's pretty much favorite character ever. It's a blue fox girl in a skimpy outfit. Any furry is bound to get a boner by seeing this. Yeah, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Goddamn jellyfish! Gets in the way of my freaking fuel barrel. Also, if I get caught in one more explosion, I'm dead. So let's be extremely careful now. Better keep my distance. Well, that works. So, wait, another pickup animation. Why do they have to do this? I'm getting bored of them already. A Dumbledang pod. It's fruit which also restores your health. Not by as much as the uh, eggs, though. Oh, yeah, we need another fuel barrel there. So let's go and get one. And then we need to haul it back over here. Careful, there's fire. Don't rush in here like an idiot. Lonely get yourself killed. Go, go, go. See that crack in the wall over there? That requires a little explosions. And in this room, there's another fuel barrel. Yes, we'll be doing a lot with those in this game. You can also put it down over there. And then we can go in here. Then talk to the Triceratops. <coughs> Kyo Chrysoa! Toot oh hey cut sock. Kale oh ho toot woe. 
Nus ag o e kiog jod kio tash kuf shoduk. Ni od no no ho ukus bat. A shoduk kat fo kat sog. No no ho mucho shot. Oh. Rek ne og no ho o e ted wo kut so ho. Kio king earth walker shot itch game. Hekas kiaj shu shot fu suzo. Kut si mo if kio krizoa. Keo Krizoa, Oho Fuso Fahaks, Fenovic Rodu, Keo Grado Kevo Ke, O Kudak, Naki Keo Fahaks, E Kudak Ash Two. Ash could so Jimu Kear at Sute. Moak, Et Ko Keo Fiho Eve Kutsuk. Sud kubo ke o gask. Ud ko ke o kriso a shwain. Et su ajatu. Sev kuko ki pahabs kosh. Ud uno ak ue honut. Av ue jesut. Ki od hokit ke mo. Am dek huit wu. <laughs> okay, so we were going after a distress signal sent by that guy. Now it would make sense. This is a Kurzawa Shrine entrance warp. Stand on it and press A to enter the warp. Like that wasn't completely obvious due to the big green A button appearing there. How stupid do they think we are? Anyways. Yeah, it's not really warping like Star Trek. Well, it kind of is. They stand on a thingy. And they warp. You found your way into a Shrine. It has a Krizoa spirit inside. Spirit have great power. Could bring terror. Could bring peace. Six spirits. Yada yada yada. Complete the test. It'll be yours. Okay. There's six spirits to get. So let's go and get the first one. Climb up the ladder. No furries. You're not getting a freaking panty peek. You pervs. Ugh. Come on. God, this ladder takes forever. Okay, screw the fire. I'm going on. Oh, close. Uh, we need to... That there is a soul door. Or life force door or whatever it's called. There's like this floating red thingy in it. That's the amount of enemies you need to kill. So we need to kill one. Which is this jellyfish. There we go, kill it, and the door opens. Very nice. Uh, go here. Okay, this one is a time trial. Step on the pressure plate and the door will open. And it'll only stay open for a limited time, so you'd better be quick. You can also just run right through the fire, it's not gonna hurt you that much. But yeah, here's the spirit. They kinda look like... Uh, they kinda remind me of Metroid Prime. You know, the final boss in Metroid Prime, the blue thingy. Is that like this blue face with tentacles on it? I complete the test. And it's this kind of test. It's incredibly easy. Just watch the thingy he goes into and follow it. Now, honestly, if you fail at this, then why the hell are you playing a video game? It's obviously this one. Yeah. And then he goes into a different one. Rinse and repeat and stuff, and now they move slightly more, slightly different. And I still haven't lost it. Have you? I know exactly where it is. It is this one. Yeah, I'm good at this. Haha. Uh -huh. I was going back in that one. Whatever. Mm hmm. Still know where it is. Seriously, who are they trying to fool with this? It is... That one! Sweet, I got it. I'm so good at this game. Or at least at that easy minigame. So, let's go and collect our spirit. Holy crap, he possesses my body. And now we're glowing purple. And that is kind of awkward. And we land. And now we've got a severe case of pink eye. Yes, I am going to rip off Prince Boo21's jokes for this. 
Because if you don't know, he also did this game like a while ago. And now I felt like doing it. And yeah, we need to release the spirit in the Krozoa Palace, which is convenient because we're already there. So yeah, that's not gonna be a very long walk. Now let's go see if that dinosaur has anything more to tell us. <laughs> okay, so we need to release the spirit. Just go over here, step on this incredibly slow elevator. There we go. And just simply turn right and sit down here to release the... Whoa. Okay, I guess we're looking through someone's eyes now. Someone who sees in kind of awkward colors. I mean, Crystal's not green. She's blue. I'm guessing that's like ter thermal vision or something. But yeah, get the spirit in there. And the head starts shaking like it's got the twitches. And... Oh, a beam of light. Which I guess is the spirit. Flying out. And who's watching her? Uh oh. That cannot be good. I do wonder who is that who was watching her though. Was it like General Scales? That seems to be the most likely answer. But yeah, now she is stuck inside that crystal. Ain't that funny? Her name's Crystal and she's stuck inside a crystal. It's like they planned it all along. But yeah. What are we going to do now? Our playable character is caught in a death trap. Who is going to come to her rescue? Stay tuned for the next part of Star Fox Adventures and find out who is our hero.